Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make dance sport, country, and skate dresses of your dreams. I am really excited and honored to be wearing a dress by one of my Sew Like a Pro members. She's too shy to be on camera, so it's just me alone. And she originally made this dress for her daughter. This is the third dress I've tried on, and thank goodness, because her daughter was older, so this dress is a little more <laughs> comfortable, less tight. <laughs> So today has been a really fantastic day. I'm filming on location in Arizona and I have three So Like a Pro members here. And so we all, I've got, it's like herding cats. I got all four of us women together and we've had a great time. Tammy is uh, one of the original members. She signed up in 2016 when the school first came open for enrollment and so she brought a variety of dresses today ranging from early before she was in school to this is one of your latest creations yes late, later last year. Yeah. last year so that that counts as pretty recent it's been really interesting to watch her work progress as far as simplicity of designs and um, accuracy of stitching so I asked, said, is there a story behind this dress? And she says, well, whenever I design a dress, I go online and I find an inspiration picture, which many of us do when we're looking for a new dress or to make a new dress. And she said, what I really wanted to try, because I had not ever done it, was to do the gathers and the drapes on here. So she found a dress that she liked that had the gathers and that was sort of the starting point. So she did the gathers here and then sort of worked her way down with the whole drapes. And then from there built, just kept designing. So my favorite part of the dress actually is these red flowers. If this flesh color were the same color as my skin, we would blend in with the wall. So how about I say if I had a tan and matched the fabric, <laughs> Then, then it would be better. So ideally, if you're doing a, a beige type fabric, you either need to go much darker in this case so that it looks intentional or you want to have your skin match the fabric. But in any case, whatever your choice is, these fabric flowers, which are all one petal at a time and rhinestoned and hand sewed on are gorgeous. And Tammy said that she started with the larger flowers and then just sort of filled in with the smaller flowers, which is a great way to decorate because you can always, always add more flowers of different sizes. So it's a good idea to start with the large focal points and then keep filling in. This skirt really has a lot of movement. It's very lightweight and fluid and it is a stretch crepe from Chris Ann in England and it's really it's nice and matte i like the weight of it and she's got some nice colors there's look some pearl cabochons there's tiny little red beads that are glued on some ruby navettes which are lovely ruby no they're uh, siam light siam and so this has really quite a lot going on i it is not my personal design cup of tea but that is completely fine because there are a lot of designers in the world and the reason there are a lot of designers in the world is because we all have different tastes. That's why there's so many kinds of ice cream as well. <laughs> so there are lovely bracelets that go with this and if you are interested in purchasing this dress or the other dresses in the background which were also made by Tammy, feel free to email me directly. I think these are absolutely fabulous. I am delighted to have met her and I'm delighted to be able to breathe because her daughter's older now in this dress. <laughs> So anyway, that is it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I will make sure you receive my newsletters and when the sewing school is open for enrollment so you can learn to make amazing dresses like this as well. Lastly, what is your favorite part of this dress? Do you like the gathers, which was sort of the case study for this dress? Or do you like the flowers? Do you like the angled skirt? Or it kind of has this nice long line with the open thigh, which is another feature I like. So what is your favorite part? And I appreciate you tuning in and I will talk to you again another time.